Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mar here from Lil Ladies up against Down to Proc and Victoria's Secret in G3 Siege. Let's see how this one's gonna go. Hope you guys are having a great day. Let's jump into it. Right off the bat, we're gonna be hitting this Theo Chichlet and Narsha. We're bringing out Feng Yan, Tetra, and Leo. I put minus light on Tetra just because she's probably gonna be getting hit pretty often by that Narsha. At least that's what I'm hoping. Okay, so we're gonna try to kill this deal if possible if not we're gonna go for the narsha i think the narsha is a bit scarier okay deal prox and we're fine that was a pretty heavy hit though we're just gonna use skill one for now we strip the speed buff and we're gonna go for the narsha here okay so far so good not too many prox we almost dismount the narsha we dismount her with the tetra and we should be able to kill here with the leo okay very nice now it's a 3v2 we still have to proc the endure on the theo Okay, we proc it here. He gets a counter, but we will be able to cut in here with the Tetra. Cleanse the Leo and we'll be fine for now. I just put a dot on him just in case he procs, but it doesn't matter because she has a bubble. Bubbles him up. Silly little misplay. There's going to be some misplays later on this siege, so pay attention and learn from my mistakes. Now it's a 3v1 and we do have this one in the bag. The only reason I don't like to say we have it in the bag until we get the victory screen is because what if I lag out? All right, for this next one, we're going to hit this Theo, Chichlid, and Cadiz Nuts. We're going to come into it with Mirne, Dova, and Lucian. This one should be safe to Lucian unless we get outsped and reset by the Chichlid. Okay, luckily she isn't on Swift. She's probably on a fast Vio set. We're going to boost up the Lucian, and we should be able to clear everything but the Theo. Okay, the Theo goes for the Lucian, doesn't proc, and we finish him off with the Dova. Now for this next one, we're going to hit this Theo, Chichlid, and Perna coming into it with Tractor, Windy, Lulu. You've probably seen me use this counter very often against his defense. I like to put minus water on the Lulu, just to make it a little bit safe because the Theo can hit pretty hard. We're going to go for the Theo first. Hopefully we can proc the Endor while he is stunned up. Ideally, we'd want to have immunity on all the Mons and then we'd finish him off. And then once you get rid of the Theo, there's honestly not too much of a threat between the Chichlid and Perna for this offense. I know for other offenses, it can be a bit sketchy. But this offense hasn't failed me yet. I know I'm going to jinx it. I don't think we've lost any of these mons up against this defense before. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys remember that. Now here we are with the ideal setup. The Theo is stunned up. He does get cleansed, but we have the immunity on. Not going to matter. We proc like crazy. We get rid of the Theo, and that's pretty much it. Now for this next defense, we're going to hit this interesting Clara, Jasmine, and Kinky defense. Honestly, I've never really paid attention to her, but she has a pretty interesting kit. That skill 3 can be a little bit scary. Same thing with skill 2. Now, one of my guildies did come into it with Kamun, Lauren, and Lucia. Let's see how this one goes. Okay, they're going to take the first turn. We get double stunned up. We're going to go for the sleep onto the Jasmine. We don't want her to do whatever she does. Okay. We get defense broken by the Kinky. But we are on all minus light just to be safe here. We're going to try to go for the Clara. We're going to cleanse first. Okay, the Kinky's targeting the Kamun. We're going to actually try to kill this Jasmine if possible. Nice proc there. We don't want this Jasmine to do whatever she does. That AoE defense break can be really scary. Especially with the Kinky there. She's super low. We don't finish her off with the Lauren, but we're just going to go forward the freeze onto the Kinky. Nice. We get stunned up here. Not good. Kind of greedy there. Okay, luckily we cut in. We get rid of the Jasmine. Now it's a 3v2. We're going to go for the Clara first and leave the Kinky for last. Nice, we get the counter defense break. I really think I should switch this Lauren onto Vile Will. The Swift hasn't really been doing too much. The counter is pretty nice. I'm not going to lie, having the revenge set in there is pretty nice. But as you'll see in this next siege, man, I need a switcher. Okay, we get rid of the Clara. Now it's a 3v1 and we should have this one in the bag unless the Kinky procs like crazy. Sorry for posting this one late. I know it's supposed to come out last week. I was just really busy. So I didn't really have time to record. But I am going to be posting this today, Tuesday, October 3rd. And I do have a balance patch world guild battle probably coming out tomorrow. And then on Thursday, you'll be getting this Monday siege. And then maybe Friday, you'll be getting this Thursday's siege. GG's on to the next one. We're going to be hitting this Clara. Giselle, Theo team, we're coming into it with Galleon, Tiana, Poseidon. Now you might be thinking, why are you bringing this team into a Clara? She might outspeed you. Well, I knew that this one was Despair, so most likely I was going to outspeed it, even though my Swift runes are a bit slow. Okay, we're going to take the turn one. Now, can we land the defense breaks here? We get the triple defense break. Can we get the pushbacks, though? 
Okay, we do get the triple pushback, very nice. And we're gonna finish him off with the Tiana. Now it's a 3v1 up against the Theo. Try to get skill two on it. This has yet to happen to me, but imagine that this was a revenge Theo and it just revenged until they all died. That'd be so scary. All right, GG. Now for this next one, we're gonna hit this Clara, Savannah, and Tessa. I'm coming into it with Rakan, Harmonia, and Rika. Really poor choice on my end. I just thought that maybe we'd get a one or two resists from the Harmonia and the Rika. Now the Clara goes for skill three, strips, triple stun, double defense break. The test is going for the Rakan Prox here. He's not doing a crazy amount of damage, but the Rakan will be going down to the Savannah Proc, of course, and it's basically over. But I am telling you right now, that motherfucker, that motherfucker back there is not real. And I was just sitting here in disbelief for a bit, just how perfectly wrong everything went. I should have known that if anything can go wrong, it will always go wrong. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're yeah. fine. When you're not really just fine, you just can't get into it because they Jeez. would never understand. Now for this next one, we're going to hit this Claire, Savannah, and Tessa. We're coming into it with Manon, Abelio, and Camilla. This is a little bit sketchy because that Savannah could probably go crazy on them. And if the Tessa lands the Oblivion, it can get sketchy. We get stunned up. He goes for the Oblivion onto the Camilla. Not good. My Camilla is also slow. Something that I need to change. Luckily, she's on Nemesis. So we will be taking the turn. Can we proc here, though? We need to get a freeze. We get the freeze onto the Claire. Nice proc. We get rid of the Oblivion. But the Abelio is also Oblivion. So that's not good. He Oblivions the Camilla again. What is this accuracy here? Okay, we almost killed the Claire right there. I'm going to finish her off with the Abelio. Nice proc. Can we stun? No stun. We get countered by the Tessa. Luckily, no Oblivion. It's always risky to bring in passives into Tessa because he can Oblivion the crap out of you. Okay, he goes for the Manon, thankfully. Can we freeze? We get a freeze on him. Now, we need to get rid of him first. And honestly, as long as we can kill him, then we don't have to worry about the Savannah. Okay, nice procs here. Now, we are defense broken on the Camilla. Can we finish him off with the Manon here? Not enough damage. Can we finish him off with the Abelio? Not enough damage. He goes for the Camilla. But we get saved by Perry the Platypus. Now it's a 3v1 up against the Savannah. We're not out the woods yet. We can potentially lose this one if she goes crazy. But if we can dismount her, then we'll be fine. A nice dismount and stun. Now we will be A-OK. -okay. I think if you come into it with triple water, it's best off to just avoid the passives if you can. Now for the next one, we're going to be using a team that one of my friends, Trung, recommended. Shout out to you, Trung. We're coming into it with Hey Gang, Riley, and Bellinus into Clara, Savannah, and Tessa. The idea here is Clara's going to use skill 3. Hey Gang's going to use his passive to cleanse it. Then we're going to use Riley's immunity or attack buff and then use Bellinus AoE. Okay, skill 3 coming out. Nice, we cut in. We use skill 2, very nice here. We're going to use the immunity just to be safe. And then use skill 3 on the Bellinus. Okay, the test is going for the Riley. Perfect, we have full stacks. Now we did a good amount of damage there with the Bellinus. We're going to use the skill 4 of Riley whenever we can. Okay, there we go. And the main threat here is that Tessa. So I would suggest going for the Tessa. Can we stun him? No stun. We get the decreased attack bar a little bit. We're going to use skill 1 here. He's going to focus the Riley. We get defense broken though. We do get a stun with the Bellinus. Very nice. We get the passive coming out of the Hey Gang. Skill 3 coming out. And we got this pretty much locked down for now. As long as we can use the skill 2 with the Bellinus, we'll be fine. Okay, nice. We get a stun and a dot. And yeah, this should be pretty good. Shout out to you, Trung. This is a really good safe team. I really like it also if you're watching this shout out to you dff for helping me out and we get the victory royale now for the next one we're gonna hit clara giselle and theo this time we're coming into it with ariel miles and camilla now i think this would be decently safe if camilla was a bit tankier and faster but you'll see what the main issue is with this defense okay we're gonna go for the skill one onto the theo we want to get rid of the theo first because he's gonna be doing a lot of damage Okay, we almost proc the Endure. Not enough. He's so low. Now the Giselle's going to use her skill 3. Okay, not looking too good here. We're going to go for the freeze onto the Theo. 
We get the freeze, very nice. We're just gonna use skill one on whatever because it doesn't matter. Okay, heal up a little bit. We're gonna use skill three. We got the heal boss up. Can we strip? We don't strip the invincibility. Okay, we're doing good here so far. Giselle's going for the miles, not good. Can we freeze? We get the freeze again, a nice. Now we need to strip that Theo. We're just gonna go for the Giselle for now until we can get the strip if he's still frozen. We don't strip the Giselle. We want to get rid of that defense buff. We get rid of her immunity. Now can we strip the invincibility? We strip it, but we don't do damage. We procced endure and attack buff. Not looking good here. I should have went for the skill 2 onto the miles. That was a, my mistake. That was a huge mistake because we're basically going to be screwed by the Theo here. Theo goes for the miles. Now it's a 2 the three we're going to use the skill three here just to have that heal buff on the aerial now can we freeze the theo we freeze them we can't kill this theo the steel is impossible to kill with the invincibility buff i even thought about bringing in the water ivor he goes for the aerial we finish him off now it's a 2v2 and we should have this one in the bag right we have a healer and a decently tinky-ish camilla nope i actually lose this one it's pretty crazy that Giselle does pretty good damage here. We freeze the Clara. The Giselle's going to focus the aerial. She's going to proc. And she's so annoying. She has the skill 3 up already. She's going to use it. She's going to have the invincibility buff on both of them. We're not going to be able to do anything. She procs again. Almost killing the aerial. We get stunned up here. Even though the aerial has 100 res. And he goes down to the Giselle. Now it's a 1v2. Can the Camilla clutch this one up? Like I said, no, she's not going to be able to clutch this one up. The problem here is that we're not going to be getting critted by the Clara or the Giselle. So we're not going to be able to cleanse as much as we should. So if we get stunned up, we're screwed. If we get defense broken, we're screwed. We're getting HP destroyed by the Giselle. Not looking good here. We're going to be getting weaker and weaker as this match goes. The Giselle is just going to keep proccing like crazy. We get defense broken. The Clara stuns up. The Camilla and now the Giselle is just gonna do her Giselle things. We're getting really low here. I'd like to think if I would have used the skill 2 on the Miles, he could have survived and we could have potentially won this one. Or if I would have used a different set on Camilla, we could have maybe won this one. But I'm gonna leave a live reaction on the left side of the screen. <laughs> Now it's been a while since Totario has shown himself. We're gonna bring in Ayunu Samath and Perna into Clara, Theo, and Fermion. My number one mistake, and I already knew it going in, was that it would have been a lot better with the CN. One of my guildies used CN instead of Samath. Samath's not gonna do much in this defense at all. The Fermion goes for the Ayunu. Can we get the Oblivion here? Okay, we do get the Oblivion and the Brand, but he procs. Not good here. Can we proc to kill him? We don't proc. The Theo is going for the Perna. The Perna will be going down, unfortunately. Can we snipe the Fermion? Not enough damage. Skill 2 from the Samath. We get a stun. The Theo focuses the Perna. Not good here. Maybe if he would have focused the Samath, we'd be okay. This Fermion is super tanky. Can we finish him off? We finish him off with the Perna. Skill 2 coming out. We get stunned up. Not good here. And we're not going to have enough damage with the skill too. We don't proc the Endure. We get him halfway. We land the Glancing. He's still going to crit us anyways. Can we stun? No stun. And the Theo will be finishing us off here because we didn't get another stun. This one would have been a lot safer if I would have had a CN. I don't have a CN built. Let's not say safer. It'd be less sketchy if I had a CN. Now let's go ahead and check out the contribution. We have Dino in first, Dude in second, and Maggie in third. I'm in fourth place. With 105 contribution, the siege ended with down to proc winning. Shout out to down to proc. Now let's see the contribution after the siege. We have Dino and Dude tied in first, Maggie and Pure tied in second. I don't know why I chose the rank like that. And then I'm in seventh place with 105 contribution. No defense wins at all. Trophy box. Let's see. Can we get anything good from this? We're not gonna get a shiny. We get some LD pieces and the mystical scroll. Not too bad. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys learned from my mistakes. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.